This is a quick walkthrough of creating a demo VM in Lifecycle Services and the effect of the naming options that you have. So I'm in a project here in Lifecycle Services and I've configured my Azure settings. So I'm going to go and create a new environment. And in this particular case, I'm going to choose the demo environment. So this is specific to the demo environment and I'm going to choose CU9 in this case but I could choose uh, any of the options here. So I'll pick CU9 and I'm going to select OK for the agreement about the pricing. Now you'll see this project I called QA3 so I'm going to call my VM QA3 VM1 for example. Now you'll see I'm not going to go into the advanced settings. I'm going to leave my default VM size, doesn't matter for this exercise, but the environment name is QA VM1. So I'm going to say OK to the pricing uh, checkbox again and I'm going to say next and this is going to deploy a new VM into my Azure environment. In this particular case I'm deploying to the West data center in the US. So just going to pause the video while it gets ready. Okay, so you'll see my VM is now queued. Depending on the data center, it's going to take a while for the queue to be processed and start deploying. So I'll pause the video while it starts processing. So we'll see now this is now set to deploying, but it's not deployed yet, so it's in the process. So I'll pause the video while it's well, the first one's deploying. Let's go and create another one and we'll do something slightly different with the naming. So I'm going to pick demo and I'm going to pick C9. I'm going to say yes to the pricing. So in this case, I'm going to say QA3 and VM2, but, or VM2. But this time I'm going to go into the advanced settings and I'm going to put uh, a name in here. Now, this box is limited to, to 12 characters and then this index will apply. So, uh, in, in total, this is um, uh, 15 characters that you could use in here potentially, but this box you're limited to 12 characters in the current implementation of LCS. So I'm going to use this name here, so we're going to say done. And again, just I'm going to leave the standard size and pick the pricing box and say next, and we're going to say deploy. So again, this is going to take a little while to process, so I'll just pause. Okay, so the new one is set to queued, so I'm just going to pause the video while it um, gets starts deploying. Alright, so it now says deploying. Again, depending on the data center, in this case the US West, it could take a while for this to deploy, so I'm going to pause the video while it's deploying. So after a while the virtual machines will be deployed and you'll see the deployed status on uh, lifecycle services. So this is the environment names um, QA3, VM1 and VM2. Now the difference is that the VM2 we change the advanced settings. So if we go across to the management console in Azure, what you'll see is that the one that had the advanced setting, you'll see the name there in Azure, so it's pretty easy to identify. But the one that didn't um, has a generic name, which is demo. Um, now you can see this name if you click into the environment. Um, you'll see, and this is number two, you'll see that the VM name is, is the same as what we put in the advanced settings. And if we go back uh, to our VM1 and have a look at the environment settings, then the name on this one is 09C866, and we'll be able to find that here, so 09C8866. Now, that might work okay with... Um, in some cases, but other cases it might be a little hard to work out if you've got a few different VMs, which ones which, because that's kind of a cryptic number. So you can use the ad the advanced settings. Now you can see in the DNS name, um, here will be the environment name from 
LCS. So it just depends how you want to identify the VMs in the Azure Management Portal if you come across and want to do additional administration in the Azure Management Console. So it's a quick walkthrough of the naming conventions, in this case deploying the demo VM from Lifecycle Services to Azure and the advanced